If you've watched my previous video tutorial on setting up the process of getting leads into your system and then passing it along to a wholesaler or a buyer, I'm going to play off that those lessons to create this process of auto sending out offers. Now to do this you need to create a funnel from a lead status all the way to the, process, the point of which you want to make an offer and I do this by creating three different apps. The first one's already created called Leads but you may have this either from following my past tutorial or because you already have a Podio instance and you're tracking leads. But what I like to do is use the status field to push the lead through the, the funnel or to each different app. You'll, you'll see how this goes as you walk through these, this tutorial video. So what I want to do first is go into the leads app go into the templates and now take a look at the status field I have from my previous tutorial a prospect responded offer made under contract deal and dead now I want to change this up a little bit because once a lead has responded and I think they're motivated I want to push them through to another app push this lead to another app called pursue which in that app I'm going to further get more detailed information about that lead like comps, ARV, repair costs and record it there. I don't want to record it in this app because a lot of that information is not necessary for most of the leads, only the leads that I want to pursue further. So it's just it takes up space in this app so we had create another app another stage of the lead so you can kind of see how it passes along through the process and it really helps for reporting later on so what I want to do is get rid of this change this offer made to pursue and get rid of under contract deal and you can keep dead here because you'll kill a lot of leads before you even get started into the funnel. So that's all we need to do on the leads app. On the next video I'll explain and create the pursue app. Thank you. If you have any questions please feel free to send me an email at scott at strugglinginvestor.com. Thank you.